Hello, my name is Jill Moldenhauer and I'm a teacher at the Hinsdale Transition Center. I'm going to be talking about prompting. Prompting is a method used to support students with disabilities to help teach them a skill. It may include a gesture, pointing, a visual, or it may include some physical prompting or hand over hand assistance. Prompting is built into a hierarchy and that hierarchy is used to determine how much support we are giving to an individual and then we need to look at how we can fade that support to make the student more independent. Prompts can include pictures, gestures, physical assistance, or even just verbal cues. Prompting is built into a hierarchy from most restrictive to least restrictive. The goal is to move towards least restrictive prompts to build student independence. The most restrictive prompt is a full physical prompt. This typically is referred to as hand over hand assistance. The next level of prompting is a partial physical prompt. This might be a nudge to the elbow or something of that nature to help initiate the movement for the student. The next level of prompting is modeling. This was where you would stand next to the individual and do the same skill that you would like them to do. Next, you can have picture or visual cues or verbal cues. These are often interchangeable on the prompting hierarchy. The next type of cue is a gesture. This might be a point or something of that nature to help initiate movement. The next type of cue and the least restrictive is a natural cue, which is one that might occur in the environment in which you are acting, such as the cashier asking you to pay for an item. After those cues are used, the student can be considered independent when they just are able to do what is expected of them automatically. To recap, prompting is how we support students with disabilities and make them more independent. If you are having a hard time at home with daily living skills or such things, it is important to think about the prompting hierarchy and how much support you're providing and then how to fade your prompting to make your young adult more independent. Please see the link below for more information about the prompting hierarchy. Be sure to follow our YouTube channel to find out more transition tidbits.